1051 is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Yes, and, sir. And we're here with um. Now I heard this guy's interview. What? Angela Yee played an interview that he did a couple of years ago. <laughs> Why are you bringing he that punched up? Punched the girl in the face. <laughs> he did not punch anybody. Girl. He said he would punch her in the face. And I think he's gonna punch all of us in the face. <laughs> man, we got Saigon in the building. Saigon. What's good? What's, good, What's up, man? sir? You just sure. dropped a new album. Yeah, Bread and Circuses, Greatest Story Never Told, Chapter 2. Chapter I, I, two. I, I wish you could find it. It's hard to find out there, but if you look hard enough, you can find it. So oh, iTunes, you go tweeted right that. iTunes, yeah. Oh, you said, yeah. can't find my album anywhere. It sucks to be me right now. Yeah. So yeah, what, you indie? You got it. What's, what's man, the I'm indie, man. I'm just doing it on my own, man. I went through the I went through the major system, and we didn't, we didn't kind of see eye to eye, so I figured. Yeah, you wrote a song about know, it. <laughs> I, I wrote heard a few that. songs about it. On this know? last album, though, on Bread and Circuses. Oh, I yeah, heard yeah, that. yeah, yeah, So but who's the distribution? Like, why it can't be found? Um, I don't know what they're doing, man. I hope they get it together because, you know, I, they, they blame the storm and this, the gas and all that. But, you know. The gas. <laughs> it, it was ill because I went to the store to get a sandwich. It's like, we don't got no pastrami. You know, the truck, the pastrami truck ain't got no gas. All right, that's yeah. true, then. So, that's you know, true. So uh, maybe I caught a bad week, but it's all good. We we, we got good music. So and the got, album came out on Election Day, came too. Came out on Election Day, out. Yeah. Did you plan that ahead of Absolutely, time? Absolutely, man. Yeah, because, you know, I mean, not, not to be so super political. It ain't even my thing, but... You know, I just feel like, you know, I just, um, they need to be focused more on our community, man. I didn't hear nothing about our communities mm -hmm. when I just want to hear more of that. Like, hip-hop, we forget where hip-hop come from. It's good that it sprouted to where it's at, mm -hmm. but let's not forget about where it come from and, and these kids who still going through these mad harsh conditions every day, man. Like, I go to, I make it my business to go to the hood just to be like, damn, man, I'm glad I ain't got to be here, but the... The things they doing right now in the hood, and they think the collateral damage with hip hop right now is that if you, they think if you ain't got no money, you ain't work, you're worthless. Very true. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Very true. Because hip hop make it seem like money is everything. If you ain't got no money, you ain't nothing. So these kids is like, I ain't got no money, so my life ain't nothing. So I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do to get some money, even if it's gonna sacrifice my freedom, my life, or somebody else's life. Right. You've always made songs that had a lot of socially redeeming value. Has that hindered you? Because I'm sure when you were on Atlantic, yeah, they was like, look, man, you got to do a single with whoever was hot at the time it, on the hook. It hindered me so much that, I, you know, that you know, I, sometimes I feel like I wish I didn't know what I knew because it's like I see a lot of guys make a lot of money, and, mm -hmm. you know, we need money to sustain life. And I see a lot of guys make a lot of money, and, and the content in their music is just so it's so bad for a child to hear. And I'd be like, man, but he, he, I can't, I couldn't do that because I know the the collateral damage. But at the same time, this guy's making a lot of bread, so I'm like, damn, man, you know what I mean? Like, should I just, should I just act like I don't know what I know, mm -hmm. and then go that route, and just try to try to take that route? But you can't. One thing I learned is you can't act like you don't, you're not conscious of something once you know it. Absolutely. Right. If there's an alligator in that room, and I know there's an alligator in mm -hmm. there, I can't act like I don't know that. You said on this album that when you turn you said when you turned the album into Atlantic when you signed your yeah. deal there, uh -huh. they just weren't. They looked at me like, "What did we do?" Because they gave me a big deal, they gave mm -hmm. me a lot of money, so they looked at me like, "Uh oh!" And then they tried to persuade me to do certain kind of things that I wasn't going, I wasn't just trying to do, because I'm like, man, you know, let me be the let me let me establish first. I want to establish a foundation, like as an artist. They wanted a home run off the rip. I'm like, come on, man. Like, you, we look at the artists that's still around today, and their first albums were classics. Classics, and they, but not 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 commercially, but more so like, you know, Wu Tang Clan. Mm -hmm. What's the chick record on Thirty Six Chambers? You know, that's a great question. They ain't Cash rules no everything cream, around. Yeah, that ain't cream. no chick record. Right. 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 But if you go in there now, they be like, you need a record for the chicks. Right. You need a strip club. What's the strip club record on Elmatic? What's the, why it was me as a New Life's a artist. bitch and then you die. Yeah. Just, you can that's why you work in the New York State of mind. <laughs> that's the strip club <laughs> But that, that's what they came to me. Like, yo, we need something that could, you know, resonate in the strip club. I'm like, I don't I don't frequent those. Mm -hmm. Did they ever give you a record that yeah. you heard later and they was like, yo, listen, you record this. And you're like, I'm not doing that. Then they gave it to somebody else. Because um, they did that with um, Lupe. Mm -hmm. Nah, they they just had a bunch of Pretty Ricky records. I never heard them again. Because Pretty Ricky at the time was charming. Oh, you're serious? Like, yeah. Oh. They, they, they had that, that hotline. i never forget. That was, that's they had hotline out. Hotline was big. Mm -hmm. and, and they was like, look, these guys, look at, they just came with me with chart positions. They didn't care about my integrity. They didn't care about 
whether I want to be around five or six years from now. Right. They just was like, yo, look, we need you to chart mm -hmm. right now or pretty much kick rocks. So every time you walk in the label, it's like, okay, look, here's this record we got for you with Pretty Ricky on the hook. <laughs> or, or show us something that, you know, we can... I can't get jiggy with this. <laughs> <laughs> but you are, but, but so I got an off finish. You are a lover as well. You I'm are. I'm a super lover. Exactly. I'm a super so lover. I can see you doing chick records. I mean, in a way. I mean, you, once you I like it, once, would be, once it would I'm be established, real. once I'm established, but I don't, you know, that's what I said. Like, I, I did relate from shit, which is a, I think is a good chick record. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't my thing. I, I didn't come in the game like, okay, right. I'm, I'm for the ladies. My whole thing was, I'm for the children who grew up like me. Right. who used hip-hop to be their father. Hip-hop was my father. Mm. And they, even though I had beef with Mom D, that's why I tried. I told Prodigy one day, I'm like, man. <laughs> is this before this you snuffed you? them or after? This was after the, this was before the snuffing. Okay. I was like, man, do you know the, the, the influence you had on my life as a kid, man? Mm -hmm. When I heard I, the all the killers and the $100 billers, I was in the street and I used to just do something to me. Like, Charlamagne to too. real, because like, yeah, you ain't like, got no yeah, feelings. Yeah. I'm from Mons Corner, South Carolina, in the neighborhood I grew up in, where I used to hustle at. I, we used to call it Queensbridge. See? I was drinking <laughs> Hennessy because they was had they the, Hennessy, Hennessy in the t-shirt. Hennessy and E&J. I was drinking because of my And that's the power of hip-hop. Like, for real. Well, we, we used that power. So you just snuffed your father, huh? Huh? You just snuffed your father. I snuffed my stepfather. Mm -hmm. Damn it, man. Listen, when Prodigy said, <laughs> rock you in your <laughs> face, stab your brain with your nose bone, Come I on, wanted man. to hit somebody like and that. It, <laughs> I wanted to see if that could happen. That's the power of music, You guys man. are criminals, man. It's almost like when you make a love well, to a woman. Yeah. You gotta make love to a woman <laughs> with are. no music and it's one thing, but then when there's some slow music on, it just, it's a whole different vibe. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's the power of music. That's why, you know, when we use our music to do nothing, and I go, damn, man. I mean, these guys make a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. But if, if that's the end all, be all, then cool. But yeah. I just see so much more. When I grew up on music, I didn't know how many records Michael Jackson. I didn't know what platinum was when I was a kid listening to music or where they charted. I just liked what I liked. Right. Now it's like, yo, that he only did such and such many records, man. That ain't. When a female could come to you and be like, and you charted at number six. To, I'm like, the fuck? Nah. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, hit the top 20. Like, what the? But it no, was great. And keep it real. Me and Saigon used to be pretty tight, but you, I don't know what happened. Where have you been yeah, lately? used to date? Like, no. No, 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 no. I tried. <laughs> Saigon tried. has tried to date everybody, but, you Cut know. the bullshit. Somebody gonna come up here and tell <laughs> us who the banged bullshit. Angelique. Somebody, Somebody gonna come up here and dance. I know, I know who banged, banged that, though. Uh-oh. Word? I know who banged Hold on, make sure. Take a sip of that good Remy right there. Um, son hit it. Who's son? Vado hit it. Oh, yeah, we know that. Oh, yeah, we, 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 we know that. Yeah, you know, I know Tata like... hit it. What? What? Oh, they don't know Tata used to beat? That was Tata's girl. Now, listen. Yeah, right. Hold on. You wasn't Tata's girl. Now, Saigon no, might be thought, on to something, maybe. People thought I was his cousin when we were younger, because I've known him since I was a kid. Cut the bullshit. Listen, if you, <laughs> have, if, listen, if you ever noticed when we be in here, just random Last time I seen Angela Yee, we was at Cabana Outpost. I was with Beeha. Jay Z's cousin. Beehive, salute to my, I, was guy. my I was with my man Beehive, and Angela came. Oh, you guys know each other? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah we all had a little nice powwow. Angela walks up, and Beehive was like, yo, that's Cha Cha OP. Ah! <laughs> that is not true. Yes! Hold yes! on. That like, is Cha yes! Cha OP. Yes! Like, now, yes! in all fairness, I know all of them from when we were younger. Maybe. I know, but you know, it was, was cool. You should have got pregnant from Cha Cha. That, that does not mean that, does not mean <laughs> that nobody hit, money. though, when somebody said something like that. I didn't say hit. I said right. he said you was, that's Cha Cha's old. Nah, Peace. I think you misconstrued hey, that. Hey, that's a Tata's oh, well, cool. Tata's, yeah, that's great a good guy. dude. The whole family, great family. <laughs> he could have said you banged out Jazz O. No, he definitely misconstrued. No, he definitely misconstrued that whole story to make red, it though. seem like like something. Yeah, that why it your wasn't. cheeks getting red? Yes, you look at it. Yes, rosy. No, no, finally. Listen, listen. If you believe anything that Saigon says, because I can tell you some stories oh, about wow. this guy. Now you're going to try to, she's going to assassinate not, my <laughs> character. <laughs> <laughs> now she's going to assassinate my character. <laughs> but well, I'm not going to do it, you know what I'm saying? But it's cool. I love Angela. Angela's been, Angela been real since the day I met her, man, since, since she was up at the other radio station. Serious. Right, yeah, since serious. I was serious. Um, um, what we, was it? We had a situation, Lady. you know, where <laughs> Saigon was actually banned from the station for a I little was while. Banned, yeah, I got banned from every station. Why? What man. you did there? Which one? What do you got banned from Sirius <laughs> for? 
Oh, cause cause of that. Oh, the punch with, in your face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cause you know, don't t- come on, don't do that to me. No, yeah. this is what really happened. He had just finished his mixtape that night. Yeah. So he had been celebrating. He drank a lot. I think he drank a whole bottle of Patron. And then, and then they and then I go up there and they giving me more drinks. I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm already on on my. I'm Melissa on. Ford is up there. Yeah, and I was lusting after her. Man, right. don't we all? She My was other girl good. was up there. I was listening after everybody. Yeah, yeah he was. Day. He definitely was. Because I was, I was on it. And he, you know, one girl made a joke because he said, "I, I punch right a lot of rappers in the fight. Yeah, yeah, right she, after the party." She was fight. like, "Oh," and then she was like, "And then you run." First of all, I hate when people say that because I stood on stage for <laughs> a minute and a half before I took it. Like, what am I supposed to do? Stand like my man. It's nothing wrong with running. Turn around, like, yeah, what's popping? Then he seen there's too many dudes. I'm not. I'm not about to be tough guy. And the dudes who say something, they rather be on. They rather be able to watch you getting your head beat and go look. Damn! Oh, they, ooh! Those ah, are the dudes that have never been in a fist day. fight in their life. I like though. that's what you want. That's what y'all rather want to see. Huh? But those are the dudes that never been in a fist fight in their life. When I saw I the video and I saw you hit Prodigy, I'm like, he did the right thing. He got his lit and got the out of there. Yeah, what you gonna do? Stand there and fight and all of my deep? Exactly. And it was like forty. It was me and two, me and one guy. And they're like, nah. I don't have security. I can't afford security. So I didn't have security. Oh, he jumped on the security. Nah, that my man just happened to be a tall dude <laughs> who who really wanted to get out of there. He wanted to get out of there more than I did. <laughs> now you and Charlamagne have something in common because you both like very tall women. Oh yeah, yeah. I love tall women. I mean, yeah. I like women. Period. It's just that some women that are beautiful are tall. tall. I like. And I just tall. happen to be short. Being and down, I, yeah, and that makes me feel more. I feel like Napoleon when I'm with a tall. Me bitch. too. Like Napoleon. Like, look at, <laughs> <laughs> she's mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially like when you hit you hit the chick from the back, <laughs> and you gotta get like the little step stool in the hotel to stand on. So you can step stool. <laughs> Wrong with you, yo. Especially when she's bad. Nah. When she's super bad. <laughs> she's so you super. actually, um, I remember last time we had been speaking, you had a child, and it's been a while now. Yeah, I got, a, I got two little girls. You got two man. now. I got two now. Yeah. Oh, that Same means you woman? was a hoe. Yeah, I got nah, a four-year-old nah, daughter. Different girl. Oh, that, oh, we in, yeah. we in trouble. I man. was a hoe. And my daughters are beautiful, man. Like I'm in trouble, man. I, I already know, cause I'm every day I'm checking. As soon as I walk in, I'm checking under the bed. <laughs> Closet. They're where's, young. They're... Where's he at? I mean, grow, I mean, like, right oh, now. Oh, when they get they, older. I'm yeah, like, come on, yeah, it's too yeah. early for all that. I'm not going to lie, man. That's why I'm so happy that, like, all these guys are molesting little boys now. Because, like, little girls are sick. <laughs> no, for stupid. real, yo. I be thinking about that. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'd rather have a daughter now than a son. Because the sons is the ones that's getting molested and touched on. Elmo touching little boys. Jerry saying Elmo's dusty. Elmo's not touching little boys. Whatever. Man. Elmo. You don't, you don't never hear about little girls getting molested no more. What? He right. He's that's the crazy. truth. I don't. I don't necessarily this think is, that's true. There's a, people get molested every single day. I want to say uh, I'm about to go on a road with Sean Poe. Why oh. is Sean the most hated rapper right now? You going on a road with Sean? Bro? Yes, he yeah, is. We about, I'm gonna tell you for the first time. We'll be go, here. It won't be in the states. No, no, no. We going. We going to any every country he can go to. He's yeah. a, he's banned from a lot of countries. Really? I don't. Which which. I don't. I don't. America's a powerful country, man. Mm-hmm. But um, we 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 route on the tour right now. I knew him since we was young. So. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We just put our heads together. And that's like, I, I don't really pay attention a lot to what's going on online anymore. But I, I go online, I see like everybody hate the brother Shine. He's a good dude. You, you know, know what it is with Shine? Game said he's going to beat him up. Like, huh? like, that's a game said he's going to beat him up. This is the thing with Shine. go to Paris and beat him up? I, I think so. No, they said if he ever comes on the West. Him and Nipsey also said that. If he ever comes to the West Coast. One thing them dudes don't understand, Shine ain't no sucker. I'm going to keep it in 100. Even before that little incident, Shine always been a, a put in work type of dude since since we was young. So this dude was like, damn, like Jamal. His name is Jamal. Like mm-hmm. Jamal's in trouble again. Jamal, Jamal bugging. So he always been hot, real hot headed. So yeah. I don't know what cloth these dudes is cut from, but come correct with with kid because kid ain't no he ain't nothing to play with. I ain't even talking about on the street level, just on a music level. Oh, music. Sean's music is terrible right now. You know that side gun. It's an MC, <laughs> and you should tell him that's your man. I don't pay Come attention on, to music man. right now. If you now. were going on the road with him, you better listen to some of his music so you know what you're getting yourself into. Uh, but he got cla- he got classic records though. He got that's gangster. I, I, that's gangster. He got he got. I don't know about his new music. Bad I boy. He got Bonnie. His new music. He got, he got, what if he does all new music? We got different sets. My set is my set. <laughs> my set is my But he's shy. He's a legendary dude in, 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 in rap. You know but he's not legendary for rap. That's the thing. He's legendary because he's, you know, he's yeah. shot in the club. It was kind of at the, at the point of his career well, where it could have been the legend- climax. Who at, the, at this point, who is legendary for rap anymore? Jay-Z, Nas, but Kanye they- West, Wu-Tang Clan, yeah, okay, Ghostface yeah. Killer, my favorite MC. Yeah, yeah. 
I like T.I. Right, I like right, G.D. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, you got it. <laughs> a lot of guys. And the only thing I don't like about Sean right now is he wants everybody to pay homage to him. Like, what have you, what have you done? No, he, want, he, want all the, he want all the so-called gangsters to pay homage. I don't think he wants the rappers. I think it's the so-called guys who's talking about that life. That gotcha. street life that to, to be like, hold on, man. Yeah, yeah. I I sacrificed two years of my life for living that life, and and y'all not putting in the work, but y'all be I glorify it. The thing I I kind of feel him because I've been in his position. I never been a big rap star, but I've been in jail for almost ten years. So I get I sometimes I don't say nothing about it, but I get mad when I hear these dudes glorifying a lifestyle that when you in there you're not glorifying it. When you mm. in there you in there saying I want to go home right. and God please give me another chance. You in there saying you in there saying God if you give me another chance I'm gonna do the right thing you know in there saying yeah I'm gangster I got eight years in a wake up to my, my friend true life my best friend in the world mm -hmm. is in jail and everybody we all know true right, right. true uh, true his attitude is temper. Busy. true got busy but he's in Clinton right now saying I want to be with my kids and my family right he ain't in there saying yeah I'm true life you how's you doing true pot true pot he calls himself true pot he, he good man he's good man he, how much time he got left um, he'll be home. We'll, we'll see him again because he got a murder charge. He'll be home. You know, he's on some incognito stuff. But put it like this. He'll be home in time if he wanted to deal with music again. I, I don't think it'll be too late for him. I remember one day it was the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Oh, that, that <laughs> good, those guys are crazy. Man. <laughs> Listen, Kevin Honey used to manage me. And we was in a Phantom and we was at the corner. And I looked down the street and you ever seen gremlins when that one gremlin was walking and then he did like this and then mad gremlins came behind him. <laughs> I saw True Life come around the corner by itself and he was like, <laughs> and it was like 40 Puerto, Puerto Rican, Rican dudes. Yeah, I'm like, what the hell? Down. The whole Lower East Side hold him down, man. And that's a good dude. And he's a, another good dude who caught a bad, bad situation. Mm -hmm. Who mm -hmm. His name stands for the righteous uniting those living in a fantasy environment. So when yeah. you come with that acronym for a name, and but everybody know you was a goon and being a troublemaker, it's kind of like... But he was like you, though. He, he That's why he hated Dipset, because he said they used to give the wrong message to the kids. Yeah, it, it, it's a, that's what it, when you have kids, man, it changes your outlook. That's why when I see these stripper videos, I'll be like, if my daughter, <laughs> he, the kids are impressionable, easy. Mm -hmm. I know it because I was. And my daughter happens to see one of these videos, man, and think, oh, I, and get intrigued by it. And, you know, I'm going to blame you for that. Now I got a problem with you. So, you know, I feel like on some real, my next step is like stepping up. I don't want your chain. Keep your chain. You got to put out better music. You can't put that content in your music. Mm -hmm. So when start going upside your head it ain't for your jury it ain't for your car it's for your message you putting in your music cause we Saigon gotta, gonna we start punching niggas in the face for the message yup we, we, we got a generation to raise we have a gener we gotta be responsible we start to forget that we gonna get older and right now while we young and cool and now all these kids is looking up to us what are we giving them what are we giving them um F you know have sex drink drink and have sex and suck that's dick what, for that's drug the, fit yeah suck no, nah, that, that's that's not good, man. And if no, if, if nobody gonna step up, I'm gonna step up. I'm gonna step up and be like, yo, dude, yo, you know what? I don't your money. You gotta put better music, put better messages in your music, cause you're influential. You, you got so much influence, man. So many people to die for us to be where we at for us to, for y'all to be up here. So many people to die would smack these heads off if they could see what. The they did once they got we got a chance to have a voice i agree but don't you think it's bigger than the music though it's more society than the music because art music well, is just the art music, form and art is a reflection of life no no but no no you're right you said it right art is a reflection of life so you look at it like this being a hip-hop is so big you know uh, hip-hop is all over the world hip-hop is the most influential thing with culture that the world has ever seen i don't think there's ever been something that spread all over the world besides Christianity probably religion religion yeah Islam I mean hip hop put, put hip hop up there where you can go to China you can go to Bucharest you can go to anywhere in the world and see kids with baggy jeans and trying to dress like me and you and something that started in the South Bronx you got that's powerful and all we doing with it right now if you look at the most the popular rap and what's popular ain't nothing beneficial to our people nothing you go to a black community there's no black businesses none of them you for every one for every you go to a black community you might see one two one or two soul food restaurants and that's the only black business there and they're owned by chinese people 
but no, but right. speak. <laughs> but this has been an ongoing issue. I remember before you did say that people only focus on negativity. People will only click on a link if it's some type of beef That's going it. on. I put. That's I did true. that. I did that. I, I remember you. If you looked at World Star a few weeks ago, I was in Africa. I had this pretty little girl. You know, I mean, we did a little sex tapes or whatever. And you know what? We I, I, I did a rated PG, but I'm like, I told my man, I put a powerful video out, powerful video with a message called "Blown Away." Uh, he got blown away, and powerful. Right. And you know, I got like twenty five thousand hits. I said, mm -hmm. well, "Now watch this. I'm not. I'm gonna put this video with this girl up. She ain't even doing nothing crazy. She just got her little butt out. And you know, we we in the mirror just just talking. Eight hundred thousand hits. So I'm like, this goes to show you. Well, the the this is what I where our society's at is it's over sexual is over sexed, and it's like ain't nothing ain't nothing about it's about sex and violence and you know money. still money. It's got to be a balance though. You got to be able to. It put ain't the, no but we yeah, gotta, you got to be able to put the medicine in the candy. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. You're right. I don't know how. But you got to be able to put the medicine in the. You're candy. saying right. deliver your message in a way that people will want. People to. understand it. Like when I look at Pac, Pac was. The yin and the yang of life. He was righteous and ratchet. Right. Pac could do keep your head up, but then, right. then yeah. say, I and then your bitch, you fat. Yeah, yeah. And, right. and, but people would still gravitate towards that positive. Yeah. I I don't know how. And I believe that's why Pac is not with us no more, because Pac had a lot of power, and pe they seen that. And they seen, like, this guy's not, this guy's a Black Panther, and he's selling six, seven million records with albums like White Man's World and Keep Your Head Up. And, and you know, they had to get rid of them. They, they had to get, you got to uh, get rid of them. Look, it's not coincidence, Charlamagne. You can't tell me it's a coincidence. No, I don't think it's That's coincidence. It's like the song Blown Away. No, no, no. Yeah, like, the, every, all of these dudes with a, positive, with a message is progressive and about thinking and th progressive thinking. You they they gotta either they kill you or they kill your character. But can't you don't think you can kill yourself? Because I believe your thoughts become things, and if you keep speaking something enough, it will happen. Pac used to say he wanted to die. He used to say he was gonna get shot. He wasn't gonna live to be a certain age. The tongue is powerful because he understood what, what he was up against, and he's like, like just like he said, he never thought another black person would shoot him. Mm. He never believed. He believed that being that he stood for that and he read for that, he was like, ain't no another black man gonna hurt me. I feel, I feel, you know. And he was wrong about that, but he he understood from being a Black Panther and Matula writing them and Asada Shakur and all the, all the people. He understood because they seen Huey P get shot. They seen all these people get killed. So they was like, "Dog, you doing it in a rap form, but what you're doing is powerful. You saying a lot of powerful stuff." So you know he what, understood. What about Big? Then he ready to die? Big, you know, nobody till somebody kills you. Big was a big. I think Big. This is my personal ideology. I think Big was like to make it look like a rat. To, to they don't look like Pat, they assassinated Pac. Gotcha. They made it look like a rat beef. Like oh, East Coast West Coast beef, and, and ne neither one of these guys killers got caught, and they both got shot in front of a hundred thousand people, and neither one of them got. Come on, that's too much. The media, the media, is some, man, listen. So if you could snap your fingers right now, yeah, what would be the ultimate change you would make in hip hop? In hip hop, I would, I would, I would definitely, definitely make sure that you know the the the, the, the influential rappers, the rappers with the influence. I would make sure that, you know, for every song that you have that's detrimental, you have to make a single that's that's positive. You have to. You just it's just a it's a priority and it's and it's a must. I don't think we'll ever see that. We, you that's know why? good thinking. I mean, but yeah, you have to because and these guys will tell us the same thing over and 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 over again. I sell cat. I sell coke. We know we you not touching coke. You we know we we looked at Forbes and you made you made ten million dollars last year. So why are you even rapping about coke? Because there's kids who's really thinking I can sell some coke because this guy, you know. But but and you not messing with you be a fool. We watched Big Meech go to jail. We all watched the BMF story. We sat there and watched it like it was a soap opera. We watched these guys floss in a club every week. We talked about it. Yo, you heard about BMF? Yeah, they bought eighty bottles last night. Word. Da da da. Well, then we watched Big Meech get indicted. He got indicted. But da da. Oh, he's convicted. He got thirty years. The guy's life is over. His life is over. Max B, life is over. These dudes' life is over. I will say the wave has changed, though, because you got the guys now like J. Cole, the Wale, the Kendrick Lamar, the Big Sean. They dope, and they not rapping about yeah, that, and that I, street I love life. that. I love that. And I, I'm glad, because I, I, think that's, I think that's a natural progression, because 
all of and, and I love the fact that they do numbers like these guys that rap about that. That's that's such a good thing to see because right. I'm like it's coming back to where hip hop has substance and we getting some culture back because this is our culture. This we not about flipping keys. That's Colombians. That's why there was a stage when everybody was naming themselves after Italian mobsters and you had Gotti, you had Luciano, you had this, you had that, you had that, and it was cool if one or two people do it, but then it became like everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm. Every rap I walked up to, whether he was son, yo, I'm John Castellano, <laughs> I'm Paul Rolliano. Like, you were, yeah. you were managed by Gotti. Yeah, yeah. But at least he's Italian. You know what I mean? <laughs> at least his, his real name is Bonato. You know? <laughs> and it made sense. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? But th- then you've seen that wave come through. And this Al Pacino would come and say, "Oh, Scarface was a movie, man. You know, it wasn't even real. <laughs> it wasn't down. even real. <laughs> That's why people say I'm spied every by Scarface. MTV I'm like, crew, every MTV crib you went to, Scarface a rapper poster. had to have that poster. You would see more Scarface posters than Jesus pictures. No, I'm with you. I, I consciously in my crib put up Jesus and Malcolm X. Yeah, and, and that turn. Know, Marcus Garvey. Nobody Garby. had a picture of Harriet Tubman <laughs> in their house, and she's the one that got your black ass to where you at. Where is born? See, I ain't see one rapper in cribs with Harriet Tubman. I ain't never seen no rapper on Crimson with no picture. black figure. Yeah. I you, never understood that. I'm like, why are you idolizing Scarface? He wasn't sh- even real. That goes to show you the mind state, man. The mind state is crazy. And 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 it's like we as adults act like we don't see it. And I guess it's I guess it's the thing to act like the to, to turn a blind eye to something because you don't want to be held responsible. Do you so ever, it's easy to it's easy to turn a blind eye. You ever get the first time I I, I think oh, I interviewed you with you were with um right Mark Ronson. Yeah. You ever get upset that Maybe you should have stayed with Mark Ronson, seeing the things that he did and the way that he went. Because I yep. think you were a little too hood for Mark Ronson yep. at the time. You know why I regret staying with Mark Ronson? Because he was gonna allow me to be me. And, just... and you know, and the funny thing is, why I do, and this is this is gonna be a situation, but it seems like a lot of times when Caucasian people love hip hop, yeah, they love the freedom of it. And I look at it with Eminem and Fifty Cent. Uh-huh. If Fifty Cent would have signed to any other label, he yeah. wouldn't have been able to do what he did. Yeah, right. Absolutely. But Eminem just didn't care. He loved the fact that yo, this is hip hop. Say yeah. what you want to say. Same and Mark way. Ronson gave you that same platform. Yeah. And why didn't you stay with Mark? Because I was. Stupid. If you don't know who Mark Ronson is, Mark Ronson is somebody who he's, he's he does production with everybody from Lady Gaga to you name Amy it. Winehouse. Amy Winehouse. You he, know Mark turned down Adele. Wow, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. But that's another story. But yeah, man, he um. Yeah, man. I, I wish I would have stayed with Mark Ronson. I mm-hmm. wish because Mark was one of the guys who got me when I was early in the game. Straight out of jail. Straight out of jail, man. Like the, He was just a DJ and a producer at the time. Mm-hmm. Nobody knew he would come on and be this iconic European leg, legendary producer. Right. But um, he, he he gave me the creative freedom. And he was like, I believe in you. It just t- it started taking too long and... You know, he's Jewish, and Jewish people funny with the money. So it got to the point where I was like, Mark, man, I know it's taking long, but I'm broke. I'm sleeping. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm homeless, damn near. You know, my mother's dead. I don't know my father. I'm like, I don't, I'm out here swimming, and there's money being offered to me because I'm generating the buzz. So, and, you know, it. in retrospect, I probably should have held out a little longer. I remember mm-hmm. when he signed Wale. He, mm-hmm. Wale was signing Mark. I remember. It was me and Ron Fest, and then he signed Wale. And, you know, I was like, you got a new guy, you got a new guy, Wale, so I can go. Mm-hmm. And Wale was happy to be there. He was like, peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm ride this train, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that that ain't even where the disconnect came because I went from I went from Mark Ronson to Just Blaze, which was to me was a step up for us production wise mm-hmm. and what what I was trying to display. My problem came in with um, Atlantic Records with them not wanting to give me a shot, and I had Entourage, I had every magazine, I had the kind of I had the kind of energy you can't pay for right. with a marketing budget because they didn't give me Entourage. That that fell in my lap. You see what I'm saying? So. I'm like, yo, look at all this energy we got, man. Like, but they still, we need, we need radio spins. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, hip hop is bigger than hip hop. Then wasn't born on the radio. It's on the radio now, but we had to, we had to go listen to hip hop on the weekends at nighttime mm-hmm. when we was coming up and get Red Alert and and, and Mr. Magic and Molly Mall. Cool. You know what I'm saying? And these guys, EPMD, 30 days later, the LP went gold. They wasn't getting 10,000 spins. They wasn't getting 1,000 spins. Mm-hmm. They wasn't getting 500 spins. But they LP went gold. 
Mm-hmm. That's because people wanted the music. Right. You gotta, you know, and then if I would have came out with an Atlantic, I probably even if I would have did fifty thousand first week, because Greatest Story Never Told, I did forty thousand on an uh, indie s- six years later. Mm-hmm. But, but you know, I don't like I don't like to go back, man. We appreciate you, know, you stopping through, and we appreciate, appreciate the music you, you putting out. Nah, I appreciate you having me, man. Just stop punching I'm, people in the face. Nah, nah, that's behind me, man. Good. I only, you know what? If they don't change the message, though, for real, <laughs> I'm on I'm on a whole new beef, man. Who would like, you want to punch right now? That you, right Rick now? Ross. I would want to punch everybody, man. Like not Rick Ross. Um, every two chains. Everybody who's putting detrimental music for children, man. Because these companies market the music to children, and y'all know that. Mm-hmm. If you're gonna do that, let's say, yo, my my music is adult content. Put a, act, the same thing you put on a porno. You know when you go in a movie store, a porno section had its own little section. Do that, do that for this music because this is marketed to children, and we know that. We all know that. Like, and I got kids, man. I'm not trying to have my kids. I'm not trying to have to battle with my own kid because she's influenced by Big Boot. I, I did 106 in Park the other day, and I was so sad to see these little young girls spitting the lyrics and some of the stuff that was coming out their mouth. And they 13 to 14, mm-hmm. and they talking about dick and, and doing all this. And I'm like, God damn, yo, who's responsible for you got a birthday party for your daughter, and they play Big Booty Girl by Two Chainz birthday I'm song. I'm killing the DJ. He got <laughs> it up. I'm gonna beat him right in the middle of the song, and I'm gonna let the kids know why I beat his ass. I'm be like, look, y'all should not be listening to Big Booty Oh, and we don't got. There's no alternative for them, and it ain't just pinpointing out Rick Ross and Two Chains and them they, because everybody's doing it. You know what I'm saying? It's like every you put it all on a dartboard and throw the dartboard for me to find for me to find progressive rap i gotta go search high and low and, and you know what i'm saying and it's hidden like something that i would play for my kids because i love hip-hop i grew up on hip-hop but even when ll cool j came out he wasn't talking about killing he, i need love he wanted a relationship right. he was just saying i'm bad i'm the best mc in the world i'm cool with that when y'all beef talk about how you know, what's, you know what I like about rap beef nowadays? Nobody talk about their skills. Everybody talk about, oh, my crew, got, I got a crew to shoot your crew. Right. I got nobody be like, I'm nicer than you. You know what I'm saying? Right. If, you, if it all boiled down to skills, half of you couldn't even think about rap beef. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. If it was about, look, I'm nicer than you. They don't even talk about being nice no more. It's like, gangster. I got more guns we talk, Yeah, I got more guns. We got mm-hmm. more of this. We got more. Who, well, you can't do that. Oh, Saigon? Yeah. You gotta get this guy up here more often. I appreciate yeah, you stopping through I appreciate today. Appreciate you having me, man. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1 inside. Go.